CEO of the tourism development company Keith Chen said the company has identified key market niches that it can tap into to improve tourism in Trinidad and Tobago. He said local companies must market local specialties to attract international partners. We have to put our products to, we have to put on our product development and quality control hats. We must ensure that our tourism products meet and exceed quality standards, and in some cases, may even have to set the standards uh, here in, in, in our markets or destination. Mr. Chin said the symposium comes at a good time as the public and private sector are looking at various ways to diversify the economy. He believes that street vendors, restaurant owners and caterers will get a chance to tighten up their food preparation skills to ensure that visitors not only have food that is tasty but healthy and safe to eat. The health minister acknowledged that our tourism product is fragile and it must be protected at all costs. We have to protect our tourism product because we have a new entry, a new threat into the regional tourism landscape. And that threat came across because of political detente between the United States and Cuba. So we have to fight for our tourism dollar. He said his ministry continues to support tourism by making sure food safety is a priority. In making sure that food safety is a priority, that making sure our public health inspectors do their jobs, we have to make sure that we minimize the threat of Zika. We have to make sure we minimize the threats of H1N1. Because who is going to leave their home country to want to come to an island or a region where their health could be compromised? Tourism is a fast-growing industry and it plays a critical role in the sustainable development and growth of the Caribbean, according to the Minister of Tourism. The government of Trinidad and Tobago has identified tourism as a key driver in our efforts to achieve economic diversification, to promote sustainable growth, to create meaningful employment and to generate foreign exchange earnings. She said it's a significant employer to locals, especially those who are involved in the food sector, as many tourists coming to Trinidad and Tobago are lured by the exotic cuisine. Mahalia Joseph, C News.